So today I'm celebrating Christmas a little bit early. I got myself a little present. It is an FPV drone. Are you, are you surprised? You don't seem too surprised, but I had to get it. Look how tiny this thing is. It's made by Flywoo. It's called a Firefly. Now it looks like a tiny little toy, but I'm gonna be able to throw my Insta360 Go 2 on top and also has DJI's digital system so I could use my goggles and controller. Now I did buy the Firefly myself, but Flywoo also offered to send this Cinewoop along with it. They're telling me this is gonna be the way to go for flying through the tiny places and it's foam on the edges. So if you bump off something, it's not gonna be as big of a deal. It's insane how small these things are getting. I mean, this camera lens up here, it's tiny. Let me go ahead and plug everything into DJI Assistant and get it all activated. Everything went smooth, but I did have to disassemble the Cinewoop in order to access that USB-C to activate it. But I'm gonna get everything charged up and let's go out for a little flight. So Dylan's like, I know a statue you should fly through and it's here, it's right over a water fountain. You know, if I crash, the stakes are very high now. Well, I mean, I thought you'd just spiral around it or something. No, the point of the tiny one is that you go through little spots. I don't want to get too risky because I really don't want to lose this thing on the very first shot, have it fall into the water. But maybe I can hit this gap right here, right behind his butt and just go straight through that. Huh? If you want, I mean, I never said do that. That was your idea. How do we get that? We did a stick. Oh, I know, tripod. It's a little bit short. What about right here? Huh? I think you could reach it from like where I'm standing. But it's gonna like fall out, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. That was too scary. We're still good. <laughs> We're still good. Oh my god. Holy okay, cow. Let's go to somewhere where there's no yeah, water. Let's, let's get out of this place. Jeez. So flight number two went quite a bit better. I was just hanging out with Joshua while he was filming some super fast cars. He has a vlog on it on his channel, so I'll link that below if you're curious. Now there's a few things that I personally look for in an FPV drone. First of all, I want it to be pre-built so I could just turn it on, plug it in, activate it, and then start flying right away. Now I have a ton of respect for the people that can build them out of scratch and solder and take pieces of scrap metal and chewing gum and then all of a sudden it flies really well. But I like to just get it out of the box and start flying. So I'm not really an FPV person. I just like flying these things. But that's why I love that lately there's been a ton of pre-built FPV drones. And I would say this one actually feels really good because the throttle feels very dampened. So I have a lot of control. Now it's pretty windy here. So I do get pushed around quite a bit, but good thing is I have those foam guards around the propellers. So if I'm flying around expensive stuff or people or whatever, it's not as much as a concern. <laughs> now there's no way I could talk about tiny drones and Cinewoops without giving a shout out to Robert McIntosh. He's my sensei in all this. And if if you're sick of me playing around with FPV drones all the time, you could blame him for it. He was doing this way back before I knew what FPV was and it was complicated back then. Now I just go click, buy some stuff and I'm up in the air. But back then it was a lot harder. So respect to that man. Now, some of us may benefit by having a drone that's less than 250 grams for certain regulations. And this one comes in right at 196 grams. So we are way under the limit. So here's what this thing looks like all set up. So I have a full send 450 four cell battery up here. And we also have an Insta360 Go 2. Now Insta360 is sponsoring this episode. So let's talk about why this thing is so awesome. First of all, you're gonna crash this thing a whole bunch when you're on an FPV drone. And this has a removable lens cover so that's important it's also nice that this go to is waterproof by itself so if we were to lose it in the fountain earlier the drone itself might have been in trouble but this would have been just fine and also this charging case is cool because it's a case but it's also a wireless controller so when I have this hooked into the drone itself and I'm all set up and ready to take off then I can just hit the record button from here you can use it as a wearable camera or you can mount it on pretty much wherever an action camera gets mounted Mounted. Now I have a whole video about this go-to, so I'll link it right there if you haven't seen it, but we can't talk about Insta360 without talking
talking about the 360 cameras. Now by now most of you probably already know how this 360 camera works. It's capturing everything in every direction. And then afterwards in the app I can go in and pick out a certain part of the frame which is great because while you're recording you don't have to worry about which direction the camera is pointed. Here's a setup that I think is pretty cool. This is a magnetic mount and I can attach this here, extend out the invisible selfie stick and you get some pretty cool results out of this. And I believe right now there is a sale going on that Dylan will tell you about. If you act before December 14th, each of these products you can get for 10% off, plus actually special gifts that come with it. So act now and get all this cool stuff. Super happy fun time. Link in description. Did you say that part? Uh, linked in description. Okay, you know, cool. Before they just go like, wait, I want to buy. What do I do? <laughs> It's pretty tough flying through these windows right now because it's pretty windy. So as soon as I get in, I have to stop countering the wind and then I got wind again on my exit. But with the size of this being so small, I have a lot of room for air, which is nice. So let me try again. Watch out, Dylan. Ah! Okay, that was close. Now in the last video I made about these Sanoops, I really like the iFlight Protec 25. And this is a little bit under seven inches. But what's nice about this flywheel is it's right around five inches. Dylan, is that a big difference? Five inches to seven inches? Shouldn't like judge people on it. That's right. You shouldn't judge people? I'm talking about drones. Oh yeah, yeah. The thing is, if you slightly bump the edge, then you usually ruin the shot. Every little inch at that point, you feel it. Like it's a big difference. <laughs> where's your head at? <laughs> You do. Droned. So everything up till now has been with the Cinewoop, which is really nice and small, but look at this Firefly. It's even smaller. I took off the propeller guards just to make it even smaller, but we're using the same battery, but it's just mounted down here on the bottom. And of course the Insta360 go two up top. And it's just ridiculous how tiny this thing is. I like how much quieter it is. Yeah. And also since this isn't a Cinewoop, I should be able to get a little bit more acrobatic with this. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> Extreme thumbnail moment, yeah. It looks small in my hands. It'd probably look tiny in Shaq's hand. I hate doing the thumbnails. This is the worst part of every YouTube video. It's just like, the last slide, I got about four minutes out of this, which is actually pretty decent considering that I was flying pretty aggressively. And the Cinewoop itself, I'm flying less aggressively. So I was generally getting around six minutes before the voltage meter started to turn red. So I would start flying it back. That's actually not bad. Jonathan got his very own Grom. That's pretty cool. Nimble and it weighs pretty much nothing. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I usually take it to, to work and I go around town just zipping through traffic. Okay, let me let me show you guys my drone. That was gonna be this huge thing. What do you guys think? It's just funny. <laughs> pretty badass, huh? <laughs> Look at the propellers on that thing. <laughs> you know, it's like my Grom. 
<laughs> yeah. You should put um, like a little fur so people could just go like this yeah, and pet it. Okay. And it goes pretty high too. That's pretty cool. Can I get through this opening, through these bushes? I don't think you're gonna make it. Oh, you proved me wrong. Phew. Yeah, it's pretty smooth and it's pretty stable. The control on this is pretty good as long as there's no wind. Once there's a lot of wind, then it gets really difficult. <laughs> pretty cute, right? Yeah. How do you know if it's going too far? You see these bars, and as soon as it starts turning red, but sometimes it does sneak attack you. Like it's like full, 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 and then just ooh, out. Uh, and those suck. But you're looking at the, the, this lens, right? Yeah, so there's the bottom lens, which I'm watching, and the quality of that's not that good. But then I extract the footage out of the Insta360 afterwards to get this better looking Woo. image. So I'm working on a thumbnail and I kind of want to put the, the speed on here. I just put 60 miles per hour. I don't know if it actually goes that fast. I need to find out how fast this thing can go. Will you help me? How fast? Yeah. How are we going to do that? I'm thinking you can drive and I'll just fly behind us and I can see how fast I can keep up. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm betting that this thing can go at least 50 miles per hour. I think it could probably hit 60. If it got past 60, I'd be pretty happy about it. It's pretty fast. I'm gonna stick with 45. 45 miles per hour? Mm hmm So does it just say that it can't go faster or? No, it's just how you angle it. I basically just go full throttle and just okay. angle it until we start to lose elevation. And at that point, oh, it's like top speed. Okay. I'm going 40, 45, but you're pulling away. It's going at least 50. Okay, you get in front then, and I'll chase you. Okay, I'm gonna go up to 55, since we know you can go 50. 55? Oh yeah, I'm still going faster than you. Okay, I'm going 60. Okay, yeah. 60? Six, 60, okay. yeah. Yeah, I can hit 60. It is so weird flying while in the car because you're trying to disconnect your visual from your motion that you're feeling, you know? Which is really tough, actually. Faster? Yeah. Where are you at? 65. 65? Oh yeah, I'm, speed I'm staying up at 65. We could even go a little bit faster even. But that's pretty impressive that this tiny thing can go almost 70 miles per hour, isn't it? Yes. That's pretty crazy to think about. Way off from my initial estimate. Yeah, I bet you if I took off the camera, that's just a little bit less weight and that this could probably hit seven. Well, it also serves as uh, wind resistance too. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Okay, it doesn't have that much pull out power. So I was full throttle on that one. You were like three or four <laughs> inch or three or four feet. And it's powerful, but it's definitely not like a six cell. So I have to remember that. I was like, pull up, pull up. <laughs> but I think that pretty much sums it up for this video. It's been a really long time since I've gotten through an FPV video and still have the drone intact. You know, usually like <laughs> halfway through I destroy it. And I'm like, crap, how am I gonna finish this video? But we made it through this time, which is amazing. Links to all this stuff down there in the description. And one more shout out to Insta360 for sponsoring this episode. Check it out holiday sale stuff, links down there, all in the description. And hope you guys have a great holiday season. I kind of feel like this year we've been stuck in that movie Rewind with Adam Sandler. Like I didn't even really care about that movie so much, but there's one scene I remember where he kept pressing fast forward through all the things he didn't want to do. And then there's like a point in the movie where he's like, oh, I need to stop this thing. It keeps fast forwarding through the whole life and I don't want it to fast forward through everything. And that's, that's how I felt this year. It's like, it's just been over like that. I don't know how that, happened and hopefully next year we can slow the pace down a little bit and experience yeah. it a little bit more are you about to accelerate is that why, why you put your fat foot on the accelerator <laughs> i wasn't very slick with it was <laughs> no, <not really>. <laughs> <laughs>